integrating veterans into the local workforce while also tackling a shortfall in the local medical field. It's actually not too good to be true. A news anchor Amy Simpson is live in Richmond this morning with details on that. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, putting former military medics to work, helping them transition back home stateside while also using their skills in places that are so desperately needed. That's a look in this week's Virginia's Veterans. A first of its kind pilot program here in Virginia is bridging the gap between the battlefield okay. and the healthcare field. It's a pathway to careers in the high demand healthcare field. It's a pathway to credentialing because a lot of our medics and corpsmen, when they leave the military, they lack the civilian credentials to go to work in the civilian health care field. In its first six months, the Military Medic and Corpsman Program, or MMAC, has helped 28 former military medics get hired into Virginia's health care field. Navy veteran James Tuppence is one of those hires. Because of this program, I'm able to practice, not only practice, but continue to practice at the capacity I was in the military. Tuppence served in the Navy for six years. Now he's three months into his position with Bon Secours, and it's helped him further his goal of practicing sports nutrition. I'm in school to be a dietitian, and I'm here getting that hands-on experience while I'm in school. Another six-year Navy veteran also works at Bon Secours. To be honest, the program actually found me. Marcel Deming served on the flight deck of the USS Nimitz, saying his new role is patient care in a more relaxed setting. We have to be ready for any type of emergency situations. Flight deck is probably one of the most dangerous places to work. The MAC pilot program will last for two years with the hope that then the General Assembly will continue its funding. They recruit worldwide, but are focusing strictly on Virginia. We recruit across the world for people to come here to Virginia and be part of our economy and help alleviate the, the uh, shortage of health care staff. Officials with the Military Medic and Corpsman program tell me that when they see veterans go from being just a name on an application to then so quickly treating patients in the local health care field, that's what this program is all about. Live in Richmond, Amy Simpson, 8 News.